Babies as big as a calabaza squash, and Mama and Papa are feeling the heat. It's week 37. If you're new to these updates, each week I talk about the physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of this pregnancy, and let's start with the physical. Physically, I'm feeling good. My energy is still strong, which I'm super grateful for. Uh, but I do have my moments of feeling really large in my body and just constricted by this huge belly. But then there's other moments that I feel really active and like I'm doing great. So for example, we went to Griffin's first dentist appointment. He was very scared. So I basically laid in this dentist chair. He sat on my lap and he proceeded to get his teeth clean on my belly. Uh, and I'm thinking, gosh, I'm doing well for a you know, eight month pregnant lady. But then the next minute, you know, I have to put on his shoes or maybe clean up some blocks and I'm just feeling this big belly and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. So kind of the two extremes. I've also been really focusing on doing my exercises and I did a whole video on that, which we released on Tuesday. So be sure to check it out if you haven't already, but uh, just trying to, you know, get baby in a great position for birth. And, um, you know, I was a little resistant to doing the exercises, but now that it's really crunch time, I've been very uh, religious about it and it's been going well. Uh, in terms of cravings, I'm back on my yogurt kick. So I have it in the morning and at night, and I'm adding a ton of extra probiotics to it because I'm having my group B strep test soon, and I really want to test negative like I did the first time. Uh, it's good for baby, good for mama. I've also been eating a lot of dates. Uh, and the reason why was that there was this study I learned about a while ago uh, that came out of Jordan that said that mamas that had six dates a day, the last month of their pregnancies had shorter and easier labors. So I'm kind of like, hey, bring it on. Now, granted, it could be a little biased because Jordan is one of the largest manufacturers of dates, but I'm like, hey, it's worth a shot. And I actually did post it on my Mama Natural Facebook page and tons of moms chimed in and they said that dates really helped them, that they had short labors, great labors, that sort of thing. So can't hurt. Uh, I've been eating them a lot uh, with like nuts or nut butter or coconut, kind of Lara Bar style because they're so sweet. Uh, and I've been trying to have them after a meal or you know, just try to balance it so my blood sugar doesn't go all over the place. But uh, it's been kind of fun. So speaking of which, let's take a look at the bed. <laughs> Emotionally, this week has been a little bit more challenging. Uh, Griffin has chosen to wake up at 4.30 in the morning a couple times this week, so that was a little hard. Maybe it's preparing me for this newborn. Uh, what else? Uh, I've also been, just been doing extra work. So for example, I've been posting more to my, getting posts ready for my blog, getting some Facebook stuff done, just trying to get things in line so that when I have this baby, I can kind of take like a mini maternity leave. Uh, so it's just been added work. I've also been making extra meals and freezing them. So um, I think I'm gonna do a whole blog blog post on that, like some great meals to do. But the first one I did was turkey chili, which I love. I think I'm gonna make some homemade chicken noodle soup this week, a lasagna, yada, yada, yada. So that's just been added cooking, um, but it's all good because it's all prepping for this baby and definitely feeling the adrenaline. Even Mike, which has been huge, said the other day, like, oh my gosh, you're 37 weeks. Like we need to get going here. And I'm like, yes, I finally have his cooperation and partnership because he doesn't have the nesting urge, okay, but I do. And so it's been this thing, you know, where I'm like, hey, Mike, can we do this? And he's kind of like, hey, chill, we're good, we're good. But now we're on the same kind of page and we've been just kicking things out and just kind of finishing things up because we know at this point, I mean, baby can come like at any time. In fact, this weekend we're meeting with our midwife and the doula and we're gonna be talking about birth plans and I'm now I'm going to the midwife every week. And it's like, hey, I mean, who knows when she's gonna come, so we need to be as ready as possible. Spiritually, I've been doing well. I received this really good word from this pastor about the importance of laughter and how laughter is holy and wonderful and healing, and it's something that I don't practice enough. I can be very serious. And especially when I get stressed, it's like I get really into this like worker mode. And uh, so I've really been just forcing myself to laugh. We've, gotten, we've been watching funny comedy shows. I've been reading scripture that talks about it and just trying to laugh every single day because it's such a great counterbalance to just that stress and anxiousness that we can get. Uh, so that's been really fun and it was just a treat to receive that word and really hear it and to practice it. Uh, also that book I talk a ton about, which is our supernatural childbirth, she actually has a companion audio piece that again, just has scripture that's totally devoted to 
healing and helpful birth and visualization and music that's really beautiful. So I've been listening to that. So I feel like all this combination is really putting me in a good spiritual place. So that's what's up with me in week 37. Would love to hear from you. Are you pregnant? If you are, what week are you in? How are you feeling? What's going on in your life? Share it with me in the comments below. And thanks as always for tuning in.